Welcome to Body Solutions, where total physical fitness is directed by physical therapists. Today I'm going to talk about some basic exercises that you can do to prevent low back pain. And these are basic exercises because two things, they involve very little amount of compression in the back, and two, they're done in positions where the back is more supported compared to some of the more advanced positions. So you want to master these three exercises done in perfect technique before you progress to the harder exercises which I'll show in the next segment. So the first exercise we're gonna do, we call in the clinic here the, the dying bug. And the goal of this exercise is to contract the abdominal muscles. You wanna brace, not simply suck in. You wanna make sure that you're sucking in, but you're also bearing down and tightening you know, your, your back, your obliques, your abs, even your chest and your lats. And while you're bearing down and protecting your back, you're gonna be moving your arms and legs so that the pelvis is not moving while the legs and arms are moving. So I'll show you right now. So you want to get on a flat surface, preferably on the floor, not in bed. And in this position, first thing you're going to do is brace. Once everything is tight around your entire trunk and midsection, you're going to slowly lift up the knee and push it into your hand, the opposite hand. And the goal of doing this is you don't have to push as hard as you can, you just push with about 25, 50% effort, and you hold it for about five seconds. And the tricky part of this exercise is to maintain no movement, you know, absolutely no pelvic movement or back movement while you lower that leg and then switch leg and arm. Okay? So I'm going to do a few with them correct. And you'll see through these bones, I'll put my fingers on my bones here, that they're not moving at all as I'm doing this exercise. So the goal is to keep these bones here. You can actually put your hands on these bones to make sure they're not moving. Now I'm going to do it without sort of correct technique. And you'll notice that if I just sort of loosen my stomach, you'll see that these bones will actually shift. Okay, so you can see these hands are moving up and down. Okay, so again, you want to protect the stomach, protect the back, tighten all the core muscles, and do it with no movement in the pelvis. And typically we would do this about uh, five second holds for sets of mm, five to ten repetitions. And again, the goal of a safe, healthy back is back endurance. You want to make sure that you're not pushing as hard as you can. You just want to push lightly and go for endurance. See how long you can hold those muscles while you're breathing, of course. You can't hold your breath the whole time. Uh, you have normal breathing. Keep those muscles tight and you want to do it for more and more repetitions. So that's sort of the basic exercise. The next two exercises are a little bit more harder. That's one of the easiest the one that we do. The next ones you're gonna be on your hands and knees. So what we call the quadruped position. So again, same thing, you want sort of stomach in, braced, all these muscles are tight, back. You wanna be in good posture. You don't wanna sort of be rounding your back. You want good posture. And once you have the good posture, the easiest version of the exercise is just to start with the arms. You're just gonna lift up the arm, Hold for five and back down. And it's again the tricky part is when you switch your arms. That's when the back wants to twist like this, right? So the back wants to twist. And you want to tighten the muscles to be able to switch the arms. If you notice, my lower back is not moving at all. And actually, it takes a good amount of concentration. If I don't concentrate, it's going to rotate. Okay, so you want to do this with keeping the stomach tight the whole time. Now once you feel like you can master this exercise without any movement through your trunk or your hips, then you can do the next version, which is we call it the dog, and you basically kick the leg back carefully, and again, without any back movement. And slowly come back in, keeping the stomach tight. Like that. You want to make sure, you know, this is a common exercise you see in the gym, where people are sort of kicking their leg all the way up. They feel like they need to squeeze their glutes and their back or they're trying to get as high as possible. As you can see, if I go too high, my back has to arch and you don't want your back to move. So again, keeping the stomach tight, this is about it. And then back down, keeping the stomach tight. And again, the tricky part is the switch. And back down. So the goal of those exercises is to do them with no trunk movement. Like we talked about in the first segment, the movement of the spine while you're exercising is pretty bad because you're compressing the spine 
and rotating and grinding and flexing and twisting. Now, if you're doing this for sports performance, some people have asked, you know, what about an athlete? They have to move their back, they have to rotate. That's a whole nother subject. You know, this is talking about if you just want to be in great shape and have uh, a strong, healthy back where you don't have back pain. So these three exercises are the most basic. You want to start with them. And once you master the technique where you can do these exercises for two to three sets, you're holding each one for five seconds, doing 10, 15 repetitions, then you can progress to the next level.